Hi friends, good morning. This is Abhishek from TechVirus and in this video I'm going to unbox and review the new Google Chromecast 2. Yes, I got this device yesterday and it has costed me 3500 Indian rupees and I got it from Flipkart.com. And here you can see that on the box they have mentioned about the multiple features of this Chromecast like it can cast at 1080p, it has a capability to work with 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi, it can cast your entire laptop, it can cast your iPhone, iPad, anything it can cast on your TV and it has got multiple application connectivity features as well. Now let me quickly open this device and show you like what all things are there inside. Alright, so as soon as you open the box, you will see this Google Chromecast 2 device on the top and it is inside some box. So let me keep it aside and then let me show you the adapter. So this is the adapter for Google Chromecast 2 and the connectivity is micro USB and cable length is also like more than one and a half meter. Apart from these two things, we don't have anything in the box. Now, let me show you this Google Chromecast 2 device. So there is a box, so let me open the box and see what's there inside. So if you open the box from left and on the right hand side as well, you don't see anything. I don't know why they have designed it like this. Let me take this out. And yes, here is the Google Chromecast 2. The design wise, they have made it beautiful and it has got short HDMI cable and it has got magnet as well. So this HDMI cable will get stuck in this Chromecast. So the cable management for this Chromecast is really good. And on top here you can see that we have the port for the power adapter so that you can connect the power adapter to this Chromecast. So nothing apart from these two things, HDMI and the input for the power adapter, that micro USB power adapter. All right, now for the demo purpose, let me connect this Chromecast device to my monitor. I can connect to my TV as well, but let me show you on my monitor that how does it work. So in monitor, it will not work directly without using this power adapter. I have to connect this power adapter because the HDMI port is not giving sufficient energy to Chromecast 2 to run. So as soon as I connect the power adapter, it will start up the Chromecast and it will do the initial setup for the first time because first time you have to do a setup. Now, first you have to download Google Home application on your mobile and then once you are logged in, it will ask for connect a device. It will automatically find your Chromecast device because your phone and your Chromecast are on the same Wi-Fi network. So it automatically finds that, okay, there is a new device and it will ask you to add a device. Just click on the setup on the right hand side. As soon as you click on the setup on the right hand side, it will start doing its activity. You don't have to do anything. It's very easy to do the setup. It will take some five to 10 minutes and everything will be set. So here you can see that it will say, you have to type in this code E9C5, which is on my monitor now. You have to put this on the Google Home application. And here you can see that there is now some kind of sync going on. So as soon as they sync, it will connect the mobile phone or the application on the mobile phone and the Google Chromecast, which is connected on my monitor. So let's see how much time it will take. It does not take more than five minutes. Once it is done, it will start one demo video, which says like how to work with Chromecast, how you have to uh, operate the Chromecast. So those things you can skip it and you have to just click on next, next on the device and it will update the Chromecast for the first time if there are any update in the firmware. So they will download the firmware on your mobile and then it will push it to your Chromecast and the Chromecast will be updated with the latest version of the firmware. Once it is updated, your Chromecast is ready to cast. Now, what does this mean? Whenever you see in any application on your mobile, there is a cast logo, which looks like that on the back of the monitor, you can see it now. So you just have to click on that and it will start streaming all the videos, everything on your monitor or TV. And the streaming is not delayed. It is a high quality streaming. It will stream directly from your Wi-Fi device to your Chromecast. It will not stream from your mobile but it will directly stream from the application from your Wi-Fi signal. That is why the Chromecast streaming is really good. Now here you can see that demo in this demo video I am casting a YouTube video which is of slow mo guy and you can see that how clear it looks on the TV or the monitor I can no, I am showing on my monitor so you can see that how nice it looks 
on my monitor there is no lag there is no uh, freezing of the video everything is perfect here you can see that I can cast from my YouTube as well so as soon as I click on YouTube and I have a cast button on top see I clicked on the cast button on top and I have to select which device I have to cast the device name I have kept as Hall TV so as soon as I click on Hall TV it will start casting the YouTube video on my monitor here you can see that the video which is getting casted is from my YouTube on my phone and the quality is really good there is no lag there is no jitter there is no pixelation everything is perfect alright friends so this is how you do the initial setup for the Chromecast 2 and this is how it performs so performance wise I'll give it a plus like there's no issue with the performance now feature wise I will tell like in comparison with fire stick it does not have any remote it does not have inbuilt application you have to have the mobile phone to use on this Chromecast 2 without mobile phone you will not be able to operate Chromecast so these are the drawbacks but the streaming is really good and the most important thing that it works with Google Home Mini so in the next video I'm coming with the Google Home Mini and its connectivity like how does it perform with Google Home Mini till then have a nice day bye bye